Hello, and thank you for your interest in an Analysis 60 Benchtop NMR spectrometer. My name is Alex, and I'm an application chemist here at Analysis. In this video, I'll explain why and how to use the proton lock feature with no dissolvents on either the Analysis 60E or 60 Pro. During NMR experiments, the field strength of the magnet tends to experience very small changes called drifts. Field drifts are present in both superconducting or permanent magnets, and that normal. Typical drift values are 1 to 10 Hz per hour. If this tendency were not corrected, the sum of FIDs in a given experiment would result in a spectrum with broadened or multiple signal sets. To prevent drifts, NMR instruments monitor any change in the deuterium signal of deuterated solvents, and this information is used to adjust the field strength. Deuterium is often used to lock because it resonates at a very different frequency than proton. Thus, it is NMR silent, meaning that it doesn't show up in the spectrum. This minimizes the number of signals present in the proton spectrum and helps with the dynamic range. So why would you want to use protonated solvents in NMR spectroscopy? Well, one very good reason is monitoring reactions such as with the NMR ready flow or by taking aliquots. Batch sizes with several milliliters or liters of solvent or even more in industrial processes make usage of expensive deuterated solvents impractical. Also, many industrial applications simply must be tested in an automated fashion, as sample preparation is not feasible. Furthermore, your solvent of choice might not be available in its deuterated form or too expensive. Maybe you don't want to use the solvent at all, but acquire NMR data from a neat liquid compound. With the optional feature enabled, on the software's main screen, you can choose Proton as the lock nucleus. By doing so, you will notice that the instrument automatically changes to the protonated solvent list from which the appropriate choice can be selected, or if working with a neat compound or uncertainty about the solvent employed, you can go for generic 1, 2 or 3 peak solvents. After selecting the lock nucleus, you can set your experiment parameters just like for deuterium lock. In this first example, I would like to acquire a 1D proton NMR spectrum of ibuprofene in dichloromethane. To do this, we can keep most of the default parameters, but obviously we need to select the appropriate solvent from the list. By clicking the Go button, the data acquisition will start. As always on Analysis Benchtop NMR instruments, we can already watch a preview of the spectrum after the first scan and it will update as more scans get acquired. In this example, the duration of the complete experiment is just 12 seconds. Now we can zoom in by pressing View Zoom Vertical. We can easily observe the signal of interest next to the DCM signal around 5.3 ppm and we can process and analyze the spectrum. Now let's run a carbon experiment with diethyl phthalate in DMSO without any deuterated solvent added to the sample. For this, I have already set observed nucleus to carbon 13, lock nucleus to proton, and selected the appropriate solvent. After setting the number of scans to 128, we can start the acquisition by pressing the Go button. With high concentrations or neat samples, carbon NMR spectra can be acquired within a short period of time. In this case, we observe a nice spectrum after 7 minutes. We can observe the DMSO signal around 40 ppm, as well as all analyte signals, including the quaternary carbon peaks at around 132 and 167 ppm. In a similar manner, other X nuclear experiments like fluorine or phosphorus could be done. Furthermore, Proton lock can also be used for online reaction monitoring, employing the NMR ready flow kit or by taking aliquots to follow the reaction progress. If you would like to know more about reaction monitoring and automation with our so-called kinetics experiment, 
Or if you have any question about the features and experiments available for the Analysis 60 and 100, please visit our website or contact us directly via phone or email. We would be more than happy to discuss your questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.